let's talk about how to get in ketosis and how to get fat adapted. I've got quite a few questions about this recently, so let's talk about it. Number one, you have to know that this is safe for you. If you have any doubts, your chance of success hurts. Number two, you cannot fear fat because this is a high fat diet. There is no way around that. Three, reduce your carbohydrates. So a huge misconception is people believe just because they stop eating carbs that their body automatically dips into their fat stores and starts burning fat, makes ketones from your fat. Your body is not trained to do that yet. So you need to eat fat. You need to eat a lot of fat to help you get into ketosis and the bigger picture to get fat adapted. Any low carbohydrate, keto, ketovore, carnivore, they are high fat diets. They are not a high protein diet. 80 to 70% of your calories should be coming from fat. If you don't do that, if you're eating high protein and you're not eating carbs, but then you're not eating sufficient amount of fat, you're not giving your body enough energy to get fat adapted. It takes energy for your body to go through these physiological changes. Now that we have those points covered, which is know this is safe for you, don't fear fat, and reduce your carbohydrates, let's talk about how you can get started. The first thing you need to do is figure out how much protein you wanna eat. We already know that 80 to 70% of our calories can come from fat, so we have that covered. A good way to know if that amount of protein is working for you and allowing you to get into ketosis is testing your glucose and your ketones. If you're like on the higher end of a calculation of protein and your ketones are low, then lower your protein. It's really just trial and error to figure out what, what works for you. If you're having trouble getting into ketosis, my number one thing that I would always have you assess is how much protein are you eating? Also, if you're eating too much protein, that also means you're not eating enough fat. If the protein you figured out that you needed to eat for yourself doesn't allow you to eat the 80 to 70% of calories from fat, then I would suggest you lowering that. Trying to get into ketosis and fat adapted, the process is the same. The only difference is, is fat adaptation takes a little bit longer and it is a physiological change in your body. It is not just the presence of ketones in your blood. Fat adaptation means that your body knows that we are using fat for our primary source of energy instead of carbs. We have switched over from that. Like I said earlier, that's why it's very important for you to slam the fat. Start your day with a ton of fat. Let your body know first thing in the morning, okay, we're using fat for fuel. Fasting is not a good way to get fat adapted because when you fast, you're starved of energy. You have to train your body to dip into your fat stores and to even use your ketones. It prolongs your process to get fat adapted. Now, once you're fat adapted, magic happens. <laughs> I've always explained the energy you get from being fat adapted is like, I will, I'm like an energizer bunny. I keep going and going and going. I never sit down. So it is a very sustained energy. You have less or no cravings. You become metabolically flexible, meaning you can have a little carb, which I don't recommend, and switch back over to fat burning more quickly because you've just trained your body. And you gotta think about it, that's the same thing when you're trying to go from a carb burner to a fat burner, you had to train it because it's so used to being a carb burner for 50, 30, 20 years. Okay, I just explained a very simple way how you get into ketosis and fat adapted. There are other things that can go into this, but I'm mostly just focused on macros and eating fat and not eating too much protein because that is something very simple that you can fix if that is your problem. And just a few other things that can prevent this from happening a lot sooner than someone else is if you have high inflammation or you're, you're a diabetic or you have lots of healing to do. 
you're not sleeping well, you're stressed. Those are all things that can get in the way of getting into ketosis and then ultimately fat adapted.